Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a coffee taste test with this Black Rifle Coffee Company coffee. So I got this bag of coffee for my birthday for my kids, and then they got me this grenade-like coffee mug that says Black Rifle Coffee Company on it. So I've never heard of this coffee company, but I'm going to give it a try. So it says this is a medium roast, and it's um, veteran-owned. And it's already ground. It says it has cocoa and vanilla aroma, bold tasty notes, and smooth buttery finish. Okay. 100% Arabica coffee beans. A portion of our profits go to veteran, law enforcement, fire, and first responders. Roasted in the USA. Okay. So let's give this a try. So... I'm not sure, I'm not too familiar with these bags, so maybe you you tear this open like this, maybe? Hopefully I didn't ruin the bag, okay, yeah. Then there's a, there's like a Ziploc baggie, okay. So that is how you open it, okay. So I put some on this plate. Um, it's definitely a medium to coarse grind. I do see some bigger uh, grinds of coffee in there that I'm used to seeing. I'm used to seeing more of a medium, but it says it's a medium grind. It definitely kind of a, it's definitely a medium brew as far as color wise. And it smells really good. It smells like a basic coffee. I didn't smell anything extra in it. So for today's coffee, um, I'll be brewing it with the Mocha Master. I've switched from my bun coffee maker to my Mocha Master on a daily basis. And this is what I'll be brewing this coffee with. So I'm gonna brew eight cups of coffee, so I'm gonna brew uh, one tablespoon per cup. Okay, so I've got my eight tablespoons of coffee and my cone filter for my Mocha Master. Okay, so I'll start the brew. We'll take a, we'll watch the brew as it, as it goes through the coffee maker. Okay, so the Mocha Master has just started to brew the coffee. So it looks like we got a pretty good bloom when we first started brewing it. Okay, so it's done brewing. Let's get ourselves a cup of coffee. Okay, so that looks like a really good cup of coffee. Looks pretty dark. Smells good. So it's a really hot cup of coffee right now. Okay, so I've tasted it uh, black and I've tasted it with cream and sugar. Um, I can't drink coffee black. Um, the bitterness of it, I just can't get over the bitterness of it yet. Um, so I have to add cream and sugar to kind of take away the bitterness. But, um, you know, it tastes like a pretty, like a standard cup of, now, when I say standard, I don't mean like just like plain. But it is plain but good, if that makes any sense. I've had kind of plain coffee that doesn't taste very good. Now, I don't, I don't taste any kind of additives. No real, maybe a hint of sweetness, maybe. It's not super bitter. It's not dark. It's not a dark coffee at all, and it's not a light coffee. So it is definitely a true medium coffee. So it tastes really good. Uh, I'm I'm very impressed with it. I, it just tastes really good. I hadn't heard of the brand, and I don't know what to. I, sometimes you don't know what to expect, but man, it tastes really good. Again, I don't taste an earthiness to it, and I definitely don't taste any kind of French roast. Um, Let's see how the coffee grounds in when they're done. That's what they look like. So if you're wanting just kind of a basic cup of coffee with not a lot of uh, additives that kind of take away the flavorness of it, this is like a standard cup of coffee. I'll be putting a link to it in my description. 
If there's any other taste tests you'd like me to do, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to get to them. So I'm probably going to add this one to my list of best coffees. I'm, I'm working on a best of list. And I'm up to about five or six coffees that I really like. And uh, I'm going to be doing a video to show you each one of those coffees. And I, I'm going to be doing with the K-Cup and with brewing a, a pot of coffee too. Because I use K-Cups too. Thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.